ATMs, we use them more often than not, and unfortunately one couple's trip to this Bank of America ended with one of them being robbed and the other shot. I hate these ATMs. I can't stand them. They are uh, honestly a bad guy's dream. Local self-defense expert and mixed martial arts instructor Donovan Britt knows all too well the dangers an unsuspecting ATM user faces. You'd have no idea that I'm back here. So as you're conducting your business, now look. And it didn't take us long to find someone who wasn't paying attention. Watch what happens in the middle of our interview with Donovan. This car pulls up, the driver gets out with the engine still running, leaves the door wide open, and walks right up to the ATM. Uh, first of all, he's got his back completely, obviously he's focused on his, on, his, uh, on his transaction, but he has no idea what's going on behind him. I don't think he's looking in the mirror. It's hard for me to tell if he's looking in the mirror from here right now. But his car running, there would be nothing that he could do to stop me from walking up either behind him or even taking his vehicle. And he isn't the only one that raised Donovan's eyebrows. Check out this woman just minutes later. She's not checking her surroundings either. Check your six, and before you get your money out, check your six again. Do it. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean people aren't out to get you. Donovan says folks often neglect their first line of protection, the ATM's mirror. A, a wider strip was going to give you a little bit more you know, visibility here. I love this. But if you ever come to an ATM machine and that mirror is broken, or is torn down. Someone did that on purpose. That means they've been scouting the area, taking it down. They don't want people to have an advantage. If all else fails and in a worst case scenario where you are attacked, don't pull away. The moment I touch you, the moment I grab you, I want something from you. It's gonna be very difficult for me to give you a command. Open palm to the nose, hit, 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 repeatedly kick the groin. And I did reach out to Bank of America for a comment about all of this. They tell me that the safety of their customers is a top priority and that they are fully cooperating with Metro in their investigation. Right now, we are working to get that suspect's identity as well as his mugshot. We'll keep you posted on the latest information as soon as we get it on our website at KTNV.com. But for now, we are live in Chinatown. Austin Carter, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas. Austin, thank you. Some great tips from that expert.